hello everyone welcome to dada's food crave kitchen in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a simple rough for your next fish chicken beef or even meatballs to make your life a little easy i will also show you how to preserve it so that when you need it for next time it's already ready for you to use if you are interested and if this is your first time tuning into my channel i absolutely welcome you before you leave i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget your notification bell so if you are interested keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking So guys, here is my parsley. I know you have two different types of parsley. You have the curly one and you have, I believe, the, the Spanish parsley. But I prefer using the curly parsley. Alright. So I have like four bunches of parsley here. I am going to show you a simple way also how to um, cut the parsley without having to worry about plucking every leaf out of the stem. If it bothers you that much, if you have the time, you can go ahead and pluck the, the leaf, each leaf out of the stem. But it doesn't matter, guys. So I used my kitchen scissors and all I did was just cut um, the stem off the, um, the leaf. I mean, you can pluck as much as you can, but really the stem doesn't really matter if it's in there. All right. I went ahead and cut most of them out. So here I have my habanero peppers. Um, the reason why I'm using green, I just wanted to match the, the green um, parsley. But you can go ahead and add any color of your habanero pepper that you have. You can add red, orange, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, I have a couple of um, red and orange in there. Then I also have here my garlic. You can use this kind, but again... I went to my local grocery store. I found ones that are already peeled and ready to, to use. So I am going to use this one instead. All right. If you can find this one, the more the better. Then I'm going to use salt as needed. Black pepper. And I'm also going to add this all-purpose seasoning in there as well adjust the spice to your liking i also have a couple of muggy cubes here too so you want to make sure you wash this parsley really really good guys because it comes in with a lot of sin all right i went ahead and washed it like three times it has a lot of sand guys so as i was washing it i also tried to cut most of the uh, long stem that i found so that's done Next, I am going to rinse out my garlic. I know it's already washed, but I, you know, when you buy stuff from the store, you want to make sure you come home and wash it. And then I also went ahead and rinsed my habanero peppers as well. Adjust the spice to your liking, but rough really have to really, really be spicy because, guys, you're going to be putting this in into your fish or your chicken. So now I am going to, um, after drain all the water out, I am going to add this into my food processor. All right. I'm going to add it into my food processor. Like I said, rough is, we use it pretty much for when we're making like benechin, fish benechin. And if you're making chicken yasa or chicken benechin, you can um, use um, for chicken too. You can also use it on meat. You can use it also on um, in your meatballs, homemade meatballs. Okay, you can use it in spaghettis too as well. All right. So when you're using it on chicken, all you have to do is create a hole into the chicken or the fish and put it in there. The meaning is called rough. It's like rough. You you shove it in there inside the chicken. So I went ahead and blend in my curly parsley. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic 
blend that as well until everything is well combined then I went ahead and add my habanero pepper all right like I said adjust the spice to your liking but I like my rough to be really spicy so whenever you insert it into your chicken or your fish that when you take that bite uh, girl or, or woman or man it's in there so you're gonna need lots 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 of black pepper yes lots of black pepper all right then I went ahead and add some salt I'm gonna go ahead and add my Maggi cube like I said again adjust the spice to your liking and the salt intake um, you don't want to add too much salt as well so I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything until everything is well combined the reason why I come up with this video is because I know like I said again in the beginning you know you want your life to be easy sometimes you want to come up with things like this just to make a lot and freeze it and keep it so when you need it it's there so I went ahead and add uh, a little bit more black pepper and also the all-purpose um, adobo seasoning use any season cube or any season you have at home to make your life a little easy when you want to make your cheb, chebu yapa, chebu jen, you know, chebu ganar, and you want to use some rough, the rough is already there. Instead of every time you want to make um, benechin or whatever um, recipe that need this type of rough, you know, you don't have to make it all the time. So now that I went ahead and blend everything like so, everything is done. Now I'm going to show you guys how to preserve it. So that next time when you need it, it's there guys, it's there, it's ready. All you got to do is just take it out of the freezer and let it sit out for a little bit, let it defrost and you are ready to go. And this is how the rough looks like. If you are a Gambian and you know what rough is, this is rough. And if you are non-Gambian, you want to make sure you try this. I'm going to come up uh, with a video to show you guys next time how to use the rough like I said it's pretty simple all you gotta do is just um, create a deep hole in into the chicken or the fish and you just shove it in there hide it in there so whenever you cook it or whatever it's it's buried into the fish or the chicken so I have these little bit bags of um, um, ziplock bags like so little tiny ones if you don't have this kind just simply use a plastic wrap and just you know put it in there and tie it just like how i did my my homemade ogiri video if you already watched that i have a video already um in my channel when i did my homemade ogiri i wrap it in a plastic bag and tie them if you don't have these little tiny ziploc bags okay so i'm gonna add maybe like two tablespoon of each so that i have enough for the future you know if i need more i will just take like two or two bags so i'm gonna go ahead and add like two tablespoon and put it in there and make sure there is no air in the bag when you seal it yeah it's a little bit challenging but i'm gonna try my best so i added like two tablespoon or two tablespoon and a half it all depends how much you want to add in the bag and then you want to make sure you seal it you want to get a little bit of water on the side too to rinse your hand while you seal in the bag because your hands gonna be a little bit messy so there you go this is how I'm going to add them all in in the ziplock bag and preserve them and <clears throat> I'm gonna go to gonna go ahead and do one more and then I'll finish up the rest and then I'll show you the finished look So there you go guys you have it like I said again whenever you need to make rough whenever you're making a recipe that call for rough 
you are ready, set to go. Like I said, make your life a little bit easy. You know, we're all busy. We have our regular jobs. You know, sometimes you have the time in your hands. You want to make this type of um, things and just, you know, on your day off or whatnot, whatnot just make them and, and preserve them and save them. So when you need them, it's there. So I run out of big Ziploc bags. So I'm just using a plastic bag and just put everything in there and keep it in my freezer whenever I want to use it. I would just take one or two and defrost it and I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will try this technique to make your life a little bit easy. And if you are new, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and also share this video. And if you're new, subscribe to my channel and don't forget your notification bell because it will fully keep, keep you updated in any new video that I uploaded. Thanks to all my old and ret returning subscribers for constantly watching my video. So as you can see, I tied it up like so. Like I said again, next time when I need it, it's there. All I got to do is just open it up and take one or two bags, let it sit and defrost, and I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question, leave your comment down on the comment section below, and I will answer all of your questions accordingly. Thank you so much. And let me know if you have any question and uh, go ahead and try this 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 technique all right so until I come your way next time thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next upload may peace be unto you all Shalom